Wagwan people, happy Wednesday. I have some very interesting topics coming up soon. I'm going to show you the preview. You don't know the flame how it go down. Flame them and shame them. You see flame ta na mana be kusha kasha. Psychiatrists will tell you that if children are exposed to enough trauma, they develop psychoses. Dirty Dan, you disrespect. The rest of the community. Never have been seen this yet. I dare you before my maiden take and we never see it yet. Vibes Cartel is an educated youth and he knows how the crocodile them grab him, but Vibes Cartel is a warrior. I'm not wrong with that. I don't want to come with no bag of shit in our buckle and play business with at this time. You know? DJ Pattison, who is a former Prime Minister of Jamaica, come out now upon the side of Vibes Cartel. You sad? You what you want? Sad, you sad, you fuck that, that. So me see Mark Golden take on Andrew Wallace over the fact that female wife at the head of parliament. You know what I mean? Parasite! Leave out of my consequences of my conscience! Go away! So yesterday I went to visit um, Vibes and he is excited. No, no, you're not sorry for me. You're not sorry for me. You don't know it's your girl Posh Morris. I'm representing for Tell You TV. Come check out the latest in entertainment news. This is my first day. Me the first day. Girl I jump on body like a dirt bike. Me the murder. First night, put a couple gun in and you wanna make she fur tight. Get a girl tight. She they pop the money and she pro tight. So people watch the flame more and to run go support that brand new single from recording dancehall artist Villy Dan Fame single entitled Iron Ticks. Me I tell you, be a things the artists are going with in other song here, you know. i go and leave a link in my comment section for the full single. Click the link, run go over to the artist Vivo, subscribe, like up the song, and drop a comment in the comment section. You know the flame how it go. Anyhow, Villy Dan I make we know definitely, you know, so the girls them are mad over him, you know. Them just a jump jump on pan him like a dirt bike the man say oi I'm going to murder it you know pan the first night put more money in your hand in a baby to make you feel nice to make you further it down <laughs> people the artist say you no know, mom's a pop the molly you know she proud of it you know yeah anyhow no one then you know we hear this single play right through the review and I have to take the time out and big up the whole team you know because team work make the dream work so I say SB that Steena, who don't know the code of it going on? Yeah, man, I love how the artists deliver upon the one year. Tough. And the pin on my pocket on a world by Skid the crown upon the ground, make it earth slide. Rich nigga and ticks. What you gala get frantic? She bubble fear, we can never sandwich. Mmm. So check this out people, veteran recording dancehall artist Demos, the man this pretty Dan, you know, and him different recording reggae dancehall artist Sizzla Kalanji. Yeah man, Demos not like where pretty Dan go on with the other day, you know. Demos has a pretty Dan, I disrespect the Rastafari community. What a kushu kasha. Anyhow, viewers, I'm going to run what Demos have to say. You, the viewers, let me know in the comment section if you agree with what I say or feel free to let me know if you disagree. And please remember, leave a like on this video. If you is a new viewer to this channel, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. You don't know the flame how it go. Yeah, this is the fabulous Flipper Demos and it's really, really serious. Right now, I'm here to adjust. A dirty situation. Dirty Dan. Dirty Dan. Dirty Dan. You disrespect the rest of the community. Your word of your mouth defile your body. The word of your mouth kill your soul. The word of your mouth put you underneath the ground. You is a dirty Dan. You should never disrespect the rest of the community. Rastafari don't respond to you. Now you, now you, with your dirty living, we burn corruption. We come to cleanse the earth and burn corruption. You disrespect Sizzla Kalanji. You disrespect the rest of the community. You disrespect Mama Lo. You disrespect my mother, Queen Miss Queenie. You disrespect Mama Lo, you disrespect Mother Hurt. You is a dirty, germsy, dirty Dan. The word of your mouth defile your body. You put yourself in your problem. And listen, 
Never you call sister name. Sister not troubling nobody mother. Sister not troubling nobody father. Sister not troubling no one. You troubling yourself. You hurt yourself. You put yourself in the dirt of the sinking sand. Dirty done. Lightning ball in your dirty corruption. Lightning ball in your stinking dirty germs. Lightning ball in your face and your mouth. Dirty done. This is the fabulous Vipodemus and I really, 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 really serious. You should never diss the rest of the community. Lightning ball, red, hot in your face. Me do it for the fun of it, dash for your million and the club and that's how we dip. Plant. Yeah, I saw we live. Some more kind of great cup of energy. Wildlife, love and energy. Have a girl a back road pretty everybody. So people incarcerated recording dancehall DJ Adija Palmer aka Vibes Cartel Lawyer exclusively talks about his visit to Vibes Cartel yesterday He said Vibes Cartel is excited to touch road as a free man mm -hmm. People check out what the lawyer have to say and let me know in the comment section how you feel about the situation. So yesterday I went to visit um, Vibes and he's excited, he's elated. He no longer has that 35 years on his above his head or or that life sentence or the conviction. So he's he's now just anticipating his day so he can deal with his health and get back to freedom. And also, we have incarcerated recording dancehall DJ Adija Palmer, aka Vibes Cartel Rasta Friend, a talk about cartel, you know. Mm -hmm. So, viewers, I'm going to run where I have to say. As usual, let me know in the comment section how you feel about the situation. Yes, they want to say a quick thing, yes, me answer. It's a Vibes Cartel still. I'm bridging like that. I'm bridging like that. You will to be animal forward from far. Yes, I say. Although with the other side that we used to go over water food and we used to link up and we DJ up and Teflon sound them with lynch mob them with up and all of things and rare race, yes, I say. But you see crocodile system you have grab him, brother. Him know, him himself know. Vibes cartel know, I tell you, I tell you. Because as much as you see Vibes cartel there, it's a youth, he, he, him take on to Rastafari more than any other else thing because him know, him listen and him educated. But me know, me, me, me know vibes got tell me, you know, enough man know vibes got tell me, me can't tell them. And I fear my lime like you look. And you hear we go sell lynch mob them all over water for know that. Vibes got tell is an educated youth and he knows that the crocodile them grab him, but vibes got tell is a warrior. Vibes got tell them, vibes got tell them a rasta. That's where you see him go on, so them man them more take, that's why you hear him sing a song like, Celestia, I love me. You see me, I say. To me blood clap, but me no must know God. I Celestia, my father. Hey, let me tell you this slave. You see, oh no. Now, if I don't want to see Vibes Cartel sing, you know, but Vibes Cartel get caught up still. And I'm worried, I'm tell you, so enough time I think about it. Yet. Sometimes you feel all emotional star because it's a youth way. Now, can you see him going? Anytime him and Buzz Rock or the Black House President link up, brother, I'll be a joy of a wall. When we DJ Pam, 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 Wally, a, a, a stage show for water food and a, and a, and a, and a, and a bus up water food stage show, when we have a song, say, why is it not flesh them time the people don't know what can't tell and the whole away? Yes, me, I say, because put more of all them things there. Put more of one empire, brother. Big up vibes, can't tell, brother. Uh, our president, that Dodos are our president, brother. I want to sell out none of them, man. They're no blood clot, man. Because Dodos, them, see what them, we, we politicians and them things they do to all them father around there. That's why I tell us some youth right now. We are getting up on a fire shot and I do some things, brother. I, yo, I tell them this, you know, when the system are going to grab on, we're not going to get fucked, you know. Because okay, this is some youth, but the system is going to just churn up and spit on out like Wrigley's. You see me, I say? Vibes got to tell one firm, brother. Because one thing I tell them, man, you got to come on road, man. Enough of them people, you fight them, I fight there because they are from the ghetto and they get powerful, too powerful in our brother. You're powerful, like even the Prime Minister, you won't want to vote for. A Dodos won't want to vote for. You know, remember how them use Jim Brown them and kill them and burn them up in a prison, brother? So, I don't know trust government, brother. No, I don't know what I want a gunman or a bad man. I don't know how to impress a fuck. I don't know how to impress me. 
on this fucking idiot on the planet, brother. You tell me, I tell you, no, man. You just like you want to look him for a year. A joke, not on the fucking wrong, brother. Time cartel come and road the revolution I go start. Paper on a top floor and a in a ditch. Girl, if your belly hurt up, I tip a permit. Rich nigga and thick. Watch a girl I get frantic. She bubble fee every can never sandwich. So people allegedly Miss Kitty X Man 119 forward out and him speaks about incarcerated recording dancehall DJ Adija Palmer aka Vibes Cartel. The man say no people, PJ Pattison forward out and the man a defend Vibes Cartel you know. Yeah, one thing me know for your fuck you know say, 119, yo, the man read car telling you know, people in a real life, but I'm going to run what him have to say, you the viewers as usual, let me know in the comment section if you agree with what I say or if you disagree, people, please remember, like up the video, if you is a new viewer, you need to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. PJ Pattison, who is a former Prime Minister of Jamaica. Come out now upon the side of Vibes Cartel. P.J. Pattison is a eminent, prominent attorney, highly rated lawyer. Join up with a next lawyer, you small, to tell us Jamaican people that there was a similar case like the cartel case in the 1980s. And the Court of Appeal acted differently from how the court of appeal like in the vibes cartel case and for who no know how courts operate is that there if there is a similar case it is used as what is called an authority or a precedence which mean the matter is already settled so there would be no question there would be no reason for the court of appeal to even Consider the case because it is already settled. It was settled in the 1980s. And now that the former Prime Minister of Jamaica come out on the side of Vibes Cartel, join up with eminent lawyer Mr. Hugh Small to say something went seriously wrong. The only conclusion that we can draw is that Smuddy Hout forget Vibes Cartel. Somebody have a vengeance and a vendetta against Vibes Cartel. It was a deliberate attempt to bring down Vibes Cartel, to prison him, to treat him unfairly. And the question is, how many young men and even young women who are now in prison, rotting away because somebody in the justice system had a vendetta and a vengeance against them. How many young men were treated unfairly and never have the money to go to the privy council like how cartel had the money to do it? There has to be some kind of audit of the justice system or some kind of exercise to find out all of the people who in a prison now, who them prison treat unfairly because the judge might not like you. That is where we are at in Jamaica's system now. Because me went in front of a judge, Miss Hart Hines, Justice Hart Hines, who never liked me, and start defending the defense. So I have a personal experience that judges can carry vendettas and send you away and work upon the other side and work against you. It's a very, very serious matter. It's a very, very serious matter. The judicial system, the judiciary in Jamaica is in shambles. The system is broken. Smuddy, one get out cartel. And I am tired to talk about Miss Paula Llewellyn. But I have to talk about her again. This DPP, Miss Paula Llewellyn, seem like she have a team for cartel. I don't know about you, cartel, tell her if you suck a dick. Why she seem to have a personal thing for cartel? But one thing we can't tell you no, is that you see woman, God and nature never designed woman for have power. And when you give woman power, they abuse that power. They don't know how to use it. 
They don't know how to exercise power. Most women will have power. Them too emotional. Miss Paula Llewellyn allow, allow her ego to get in the way now. Because this is her biggest case. And she seemed to hate Vibes Cartel and have something personal against him. Now that we find out now that there was some kind of different treatment of Vibes Cartel from a similar case in the 1980s. Paula Llewellyn has no choice but to admit her hero. Fool her tail between her legs and offer no submission for no retrial. You messed up Paula Llewellyn because a woman can't deal with power. You give a woman a little power and she start feeling that she a god like the woman at the Supreme Court when we go face the judge when he am justice at times in their play God. Two people are call her milady. Who no free vibes cartel? Who no can have one set of rule for one person and another set of rule for some other people? Because you the youth a get a youth. How no feel say? Him fi go down. Cow no like him. Who no treat him unfairly? Who no have a broken system? And who no go and put back vibes cartel now? In that same broken system for them to treat him fairly this time? Not a backside. 119. So people dance all producer speak or Mark Golden make Andrew Oldness of a run from out of parliament. Jaja God. Anyhow, check out what I have to say. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with what I must say or feel free to let me know if you disagree. Oh no no, the flame will go. So I see Mark Golden take on Andrew Oldness over the fact that female wife are the head of parliament. You know what I mean? And I'm not, very, I'm not political, not time at all. You get what I say as I say one thing I can't get my vote right now. I'm done the land draw already. So But me have to say me force for agree with um Mark Golden Power Massa because you are all of these bodies are supposed to to act independently of each other. You get where I come from? Now there is no way you can tell me say you can maintain that when at the end of the day at the tone head up and pillar reason about who are pussy wolf and who are fuck him and who are this and who are that. It can't work. There's no two way about it. Mr. Andrew, I say, "Lo, you are desperate." <laughs> when my boy pull you up, but a fax, a fax, it works in your benefit. When we overlook it, but we can't overlook it. No, mm -mm. when night time come, a different. So people, watch the flame. Make sure you not like up the video, you know. And if you is a new viewer, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That simply mean whenever I drop a new video, you get notified. And you know, tell you TV always a push out the latest them door. Yeah, man. Right away, check out this what Lisa and I have to say. You, the viewers, as usual, let me know in the comment section if you agree with what she has said or feel free to let me know if you disagree. Run it. When the Prime Minister saw my face when he was making the statement, he realized I was frustrated. And I think all of us are frustrated in here because it feels like an echo chamber at this point because we come here so often to decry, bemoan, and pay condolences to victims of violent crimes. But the situation is even more dire. I mean, there was about three, week and three weeks ago, during the week, 32 Jamaicans were murdered. And if you look at the international benchmark of what a civil war is, it is 30 per 100,000. Member, you're now venturing into I'm other on. areas. No, 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 Madam Speaker, I'm not. The reason why I mention that, and it is really 52 we're at 52 murders per 100,000 in Jamaica. Prime Minister, the reason why I mention it is this. We often come to Parliament to talk about laws, Bail Act, Firearms Act. And Madam Speaker, the reason why I mention the statistics, and if the Minister of Information, I believe, would allow the Speaker to hear, there is a real form of post-traumatic stress disorder that our children are facing in this country. And psychiatrists will tell you that if children are exposed to enough trauma, they develop psychoses, they develop paranoia, they develop mental illnesses where they get hallucinations and delusions. And sometimes those become permanent in their early 20s. I raise it because we never seem to tackle the real elephant in the room, which is that many of our children first of all, are devoid from making moral decisions because they're not taught how to make decisions and they grow up 
with a particular element of how to deal with conflict. If you have a, a young man, Prime Minister, or beating another one over him shoes, nearly unconscious, you realize at the point we're at. I grieve for this country. All of us do. Because even though we have and we believe that we are safe, we could be in a situation where a gunshot is fired and we get caught in the crossfire. Bujo Banton have a song where it says step up. And it is, you know, solid composure, you your head can't sick. Woman and she picnic still off limits. That no longer exists in Jamaica. Everybody going to get more down. Once they feel that you've done something to them, we are at a mental illness crossroads in this country. Never before am I witnessing the kinds of crimes, violent crimes, sick crimes, contract killings. It is almost a den of destruction that we're living in. And so, Prime Minister, every time a child is killed, are we going to come here? I've said before, you have a committee, you have a commission that is looking at some of the socio-economic, socio-cultural, mental health issues. It's, it has Dr. Maureen Sams Vaughan, Dr. Herbert Gale. It is a bipartisan commission. You've in established it. The committee needs to hurry up with its work. There are preventative measures that need to be put in place. And I'm asking you, I don't want to come back here. If it means, and I've, I've, I've said before, Madam Speaker, can we all even have a joint, can we come to Parliament for one day as parliamentarians and try and, and sift through all of the different elements that we must do? Let us show the country once and for all that we mean business. Let us take a two-day retreat. We do constituency presentation, we do sectoral, we do a whole heap of something when the picnic them are dead off. And I'm, I'm just, I'm tired. The Prime Minister is tired. The whole are we in, you are tired. But we still come and we do it. So, Madam Speaker, that commission needs to come to Parliament and present. I know the Prime Minister implemented it. I want to see what recommendations they have. That commission has actually said, Dr. Herbert Gill says it's going to take 15 years, a generation to change it. A whole generation, but we have to start. Or you're going to have more children's throats being slashed and people doing all kinds of things. So, the three questions, Madam Speaker, and thank you for your, for your indulgence and for your latitude. When will that commission complete its deliberation? Can the parliament come together as a bipartisan room to sift through those urgent pieces of legislation that we must get going? And three, and I know there are committees that do it, but I think we can fast track some things in the, in, in the urgency. And Prime Minister three, what can we do as a parliament to demonstrate to the people that we serve that we really mean business? in terms of people who kill. Because up in Top House Hall in Clarendon, you know, them kill an 82-year-old man and chop him up. 82 on Sunday. If, why are you not going to just thief the man things and leave? You have to chop him up? Why? So what can we do as a parliament? Let us not keep coming back here ad nauseum, Prime Minister. Let us do something urgent and critical on behalf of our people. Thanks, Member Hanno. Yeah, you don't know it's your girl Posh Morris. I'm representing for Tell You TV. Come check out the latest in entertainment news.